Welcome, this is Tech with Costa and I'm sharing my engineering journey. In this video I'm going to show you how I've started the Data Engineering Zoom Camp 2024, including signing up, finding the most important links to follow the course and setting up the apps to engage with the community. I did this before Module 1 and I hope this helps you starting faster. This is a free data engineering course by Data Talks Club. The course is hosted on GitHub and supported by YouTube videos. This video is only to document my learnings and help the community. You can find some links in the description. Let's start. To find the course, let's go to the browser and search for Data Engineering Zoom Camp. Let's open the GitHub page. This contains the Data Engineering Zoom Camp repository. And in this page, you can find the most important things about the course. The syllabus and module one is containerization and infrastructure ESCOs. If you go down, this is the overview of the course. And I just want to thank Data Talks Club and the respective instructors for putting this course together. Let's click on sign up here. And here we need an email. I will create a temporary email just to show all the process. Costa Zoom Camp gmail.com. Insert your name, insert your country. I'm a data engineer. Submit, continue. Let's register on Slack. Email address, join. I received an email. Join our Slack. Continue with email. Let's copy the code. Slack opens. Let's join this channel. Click the channel. Join channel, view channel. This is where we share information with each other, people who are taking the course and the instructors. Very useful. Let's download Slack. Slack. Slack for Windows, download. Data Talks Club, open in Slack. Open Slack. Let's pin Slack to the taskbar. Then let's join the course Telegram. Download. Get Telegram for Windows. Save. Install, launch Telegram. Telegram desktop, start messaging. Then install Telegram on your smartphone, open Telegram, go to settings, devices, link desktop, scan this QR code and log in. Now we have access to Telegram. Let's pin this to taskbar. Then we have a link to the YouTube channel. You can subscribe and activate all notifications. Let's see the course playlist, which is this one. Additionally, they also have another playlist, Data Engineering Zoom Camp 2024, and it contains three videos today. Another very important thing, check out the frequently asked technical questions. Let's open that. So up to this point, we have the Data Engineering Zoom Camp GitHub page. Let's add that to the bookmarks, DE Zoom Camp. Then we have the YouTube channel, add page data talks club then the first playlist data engineering zoom camp 2024 playlist 2024 and then we have the standard playlist containing all the videos at page playlist main finally the frequently asked questions add the page faq create a folder te zoom 2024 and put them inside that's it then we can also subscribe to the public course Google Calendar. Let's click this. Add. Month. And here we can check some important dates. For example, on the next 5th of February, we have data ingestion from APIs to warehouses, some office hours. On the next 4th of March, we have stream processing and so on. Let's go to the cohort folder. Let's open the deadline calendar for the homeworks. Add it to a bookmark, deadlines, and put it here. Then inside the cohorts 2024 folder, let's open the first workshop. From here, open this link, Luma. Click on Data Talks Club events, and here you can find all the events and workshops. Let's add this to our folder, Luma, and then you can subscribe to this and register in the events let's subscribe continue with email enter the code then for example open the first one again and you can register subscribe to the newsletter register 
and this way you will receive the events in the calendar. After registering on all of them, if you want, we have the respective emails. Then if you want, you can add them to your calendar. Add to calendar, calendar, save, and do the same for the others. That's it, now we have everything in our calendar. Another important link is this one. The files that we are going to use, the data frames, are stored here. Let's add this to a bookmark, call it NYC TLC data. And this summarizes the first part we need to do to actually take the course. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I've set up my machine to clear module one, containerization and infrastructure as code. I hope to see you there.